Hello, my name is Jen Handroff and I work for the Department of Housing and Residence Life at UTEP. Today I'm going to be talking about different work productivity techniques that you can use to manage your time better while you're working from home or doing your online classes or even once you get back into the classroom or your regular workplace. I will be discussing three different time management techniques that you can use to maximize your work productivity. The first one is time blocking. The second one is the most important task technique or the MIT technique. And the third one is the Pomodoro technique, which is fairly popular. For time blocking, this is beneficial for anyone who may find themselves easily distracted while working um, on a task. So I know for myself, I always leave my email open <laughs> all day on my work desktop or my computer. Um, and I find myself constantly, you know, receiving emails and I go and click over uh, and this interrupts my tasks that I'm trying to complete at that time. And so um, essentially what time blocking is, is you allocate periods of time to each task so that you have the time to go back and do those things, but you're not interrupting yourself during your workflow. This is an example of a time blocking schedule. So this is just one day that I've done here. And this is, um, for an example, for a student who is taking classes. Um, so say the student wakes up at 6 a.m. in the morning, they go to sleep at 10 p.m. From 6 to 7, they work out, and then at 7 a.m. they get ready. After they get ready, they eat breakfast, then they check their emails and any missed calls or anything that they need to get back to. At 8.30, they're gonna submit their discussion board, um, 9 to 10 a.m. work on chemistry homework. 10 to 11, their professor has online office hours, so they're going to go talk to their professor online. 11 to 12, they're going to work on a project for their engineering course. 12 to 1 is lunch, which I repeat daily because this is a daily thing as well as all of these things. 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock p.m., they work on their lab assignment. Then they have an afternoon nap in the afternoon every day reading for English from 3 to 4, and then at the end of the, their day, they make a list of tasks to complete for the next day, and then they can go ahead and fill this in for the following day. Then they have an afternoon walk that day, and then 6 o'clock is dinner time. Um, the rest can be filled in with anything that they like to do, hobbies, um, watching Netflix, relaxing with family, anything that changes on the day-to-day -day basis um, or that's consistent here. And so everything is color-coded and consistent to see um, what exactly they're doing. And you can use this for anything you want to. You can include lunch on there. You can include meal times or not. You can include sleep times or not. Um, but this is just a nice way to be able to view your day holistically and what you are planning to do that day. From what The MIT method, or most important task, is a really, really simple method to write down the tasks that need to be completed that day. And so you would write down two to three tasks that are priority for that day. They need to get done on that day. And then after those get done, you can go to your regular to-do list. And so this ensures that you complete the tasks that have a high priority uh, first thing in the day and before you move on to anything else. The last technique that I will be discussing is the Pomodoro technique, and so some of you may be familiar with this technique, um, but I'll go over it for those of you who are not. So the Pomodoro technique is a time management technique where you use time inter intervals to accomplish your tasks. So you use a 25 minute block of time and you focus only on the one task at hand, and then you set a timer. So once the timer goes off, you stop and you take a five minute break, and that way you can get some mental rest before completing your task or your next one and so if your task takes longer than 25 minutes you would take that break uh, at the 25 minute point take a five minute break and then go back to that same task until it's completed and so you would just continue on that way if you're able to complete the task within 25 minutes you take the five minute break and then you move on to your next task after four pomodoros or those 25 minute five minute interval uh, you would go ahead and take a longer break so that can be anywhere between 15 and 30 minutes before picking back up and so the pomodoro technique can be used um, for anyone who suffers from work fatigue or just a hard time focusing and so I know sometimes I have days where it's really really hard to get that mental clarity and to just sit down and really focus on something and so if I just set a period of time for myself and I say 
by this time or even like in 25 minutes this task needs to be completed and so this gives you a little bit of pressure <laughs> um, to go ahead and complete that task and if you're unable to complete it in 25 minutes like I said you can add a little bit more time um, after the five minute rest and then you can go back to it and so during those five minutes I like to kind of get up kind of stretch um, get out of my work desk chair um, and do something I can go you know grab some water um, just kind of walk around and kind of get some mental clarity before going back to working on whatever I was because oftentimes I feel we dedicate so much time to one task and we're just stuck doing it for a while and then we start uh, thinking about what's going on um, thinking about what we want for dinner thinking about other things and we're not really focusing on that task anymore and so this 25 minute on five minute off will give you a chance to achieve some kind of mental clarity during uh, those breaks so those are the three different time management techniques that I wanted to share with you all today to increase your work productivity from home so I hope that you all look into these a little bit further and kind of see which one would work best for you you can always use a combination of them or use what works best for you that day or for your specific tasks um, but I definitely recommend finding something that works for you um, to make sure that your work productivity is still high and you're still able to focus from home. There are a lot of different apps out there on you know, mobile applications, on the computer, that you can use for these different things, including time blocking and the Pomodoro technique. Um, there are different uh, tools that you can use to help you with these things, but they're very, very simple. And so maybe you don't need an app maybe you just need the timer on your phone um, but find what works best for you and just know that those resources are out there for you thank you